I have 10 fragrances from my collection that really stand out that I think are incredible. They are designer as well as niche fragrances, so there is something for everyone. And I also have a tip for you guys to help make your fragrances last a lot longer. So if I've piqued your curiosity, definitely keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sasha. As I mentioned, I have 10 fragrances that are powerhouse. They are exquisite, they're long lasting, and I think that you guys will like these because not only do I have niche, I also have some designer fragrances, and I will put links to all of these fragrances in the description box so that you can check them out for yourself. But you're probably wondering, like most people, you buy a fragrance and sometimes it's long lasting and sometimes it's not. I have a tip that I recently discovered that has helped me immensely with my fragrances to help them last a lot longer. And I'm going to share that with you right now. What I use is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. It is unscented, so it's fragrance free. And what I like, it's got the hyaluronic acid in there, which is great for your skin. What I normally do with that is I will put a couple of pumps in my hand. I'm just going to do one right now. And then I'll take a fragrance. Let's just take this one. I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's part of the 10 that I'm going to talk about. And you want to do a couple sprays in your hand. Rub it in like this. Mm. And then you just want to rub that all into your skin. You want to do this right when you get out of the shower and your skin is still moist. Put the lotion on with your fragrance. Now, who needs to buy the scented fragrances that go with your perfumes, right? You can do it at the convenience of your own home. And this was super inexpensive. It was a two pack at Costco. So there you go. I've saved you some money. But anyway, so once you put that into your skin, you'll take the perfume, you'll spray a couple of sprays, get dressed and then spray your clothes and you are good to go for the entire day. So there you go. There's my little tip that should help you. Let me know if it works for you or not. Let me know. I'm really curious. And then I would love to know what is the longest lasting fragrance in your collection that you think is absolutely exquisite? Share that with me. I love to read your comments. Now let's get into the 10 fragrances I'm going to share with you. The first fragrance is Jardin de Misfa Eau de Parfum by Unui Nomad. And this is a gorgeous, sweet oriental fragrance. And I've only had it in my collection a short amount of time, but I had gotten this in a discovery set and fell madly in love with it and was so impressed by the longevity so i added it to my collection and i'm so happy to have it this is one of those fragrances that has a really nice date accord so if you enjoy something a little different with your fragrance i love a date note and so it has that it mixes with a rose that is very velvety very soft there's hints of some saffron and then you get some note of almond. And what this reminds me of, I don't know if you're familiar with this delectable dessert. It's called a honey almond date ball. And then what it is, is they take the dates and they roll it in the honey and then the almonds. And then you eat that and it's absolutely decadent, delicious. I recommend this one for year round for most occasions. It's a great long lasting fragrance. So again, if you love fragrances with the date accord with almond, this is a beauty. This one is the Jardin de Misfa by Unui Nomad. This is Note Vigny or the Parfum by M. Mikulov, and I'm starting to add more and more of the fragrances by M. Mikulov into my collection, and I love them. If you love vanilla, this is gorgeous. This is an amber vanilla fragrance that to me is absolutely oh, stunning. It's so sophisticated. You're getting some notes of mandarin, a little citrus, soft whispers of some jasmine, and then you're getting into some really good stuff. You've got that vanilla that mixes with some rum, cognac, and then you have a nice rich amber accord. So overall, this is an exquisite, sexy, stunning fragrance that I find to be so classy. And again, if you love vanilla, you will adore this one. And I should have mentioned it also has some sandalwood in here, so it has a slight woodiness. And of course, when you mix vanilla, amber, and sandalwood together, that combination is magic. It's like the chef's kiss. It's three of my favorite notes together in a fragrance, and it's in here. Now, this is great for the fall, the winter, the early spring, long-lasting, great fragrance. Again, this is Note Vigny by M. Mikulov. 
This is My Way Parfum, other parfum by Giorgio Armani. This is such a great designer fragrance. I adore it. This is a floral woody fragrance. It does have a cosmetic-y, lipstick-y kind of feel to it. So if you like fragrances with that, then you will love this one. I guarantee it. This opens with a little bit of some orange blossom that mixes with tuberose. You're getting a very nice vanilla bourbon and then the iris padilla which is the one that makes this smell cosmetic-y this is a fragrance that i would recommend for the fall winter early spring very long lasting very classy smelling elegant pretty so if you love a fragrance again with that lipstick cosmetic feel to it or that vibe then I highly recommend My Way Parfum by Giorgio Armani. Uh, this is Mon Boudoir Collection Privé by Hubigant Paris. This is a sexy amber woody fragrance and it's just stunning. This is the ultimate feminine fragrance. You are going to feel gorgeous when you wear this. It has bergamot. There's hints of pepper. You're getting a soft powdery rose that mixes with some iris. You're getting a little bit of patchouli vanilla and some sandalwood. You can wear this one year round. Most occasions it's moderate to long lasting, simply gorgeous. So if you want to feel the best that you could possibly feel, you want to feel elegant, stunning, confident, then I highly recommend Mon Boudoir by Hubigan Paris. This is Regina of the Parfum by Moresque. This is a gorgeous floral marine fragrance that opens with a very nice bergamot and ylang ylang that's met with some cinnamon. So it gives it a slight spiciness and then you're hit with the marine notes. So there's a slight saltiness in here, mixes with some patchouli as well as some vanilla and musk. So that musk kind of gives that sun-kissed skin feel to it. This is a really nice, elegant, luxurious, rich smelling fragrance. So if you want to smell rich, expensive, then I highly recommend this one. This is great for year round, has nice longevity, just a stunning fragrance. And again, this is Regina by Moresque. This is Ylang Lang Nosy Bee Eau de Parfum by Paris Monte Carlo. This is a warm floral. It opens very bright, clean, fresh. It's got lemon as well as some mint. And then this is where the Lang Lang really shines through, mixes with some rose and vanilla as well as some musk. This reminds me of a tropical warm banana custard. Although no banana is listed as notes in here, it has that custardy kind of feel to it. So if you enjoy Ylang Lang, then this is definitely a fragrance you need in your collection. I think it's fabulous. This is great for the spring, summer, early parts of fall, and it's very, very long lasting. So there you go. This one is the Lang Lang Nosy Bee by Paris Monte Carlo. This is La Pantiere or the Parfum by Cartier. This is a triple floral with a lot of dried fruits. Mm. It has a little bit of a old school vibe to it, but very classy grown up way with a little bit of a modern twist. It also has some rhubarb, so slight tartness mixes with some strawberry. You're getting a nice pear and gardenia. And as this really warms up on your skin, this is where you're going to take notice of some oak moss as well as some leather. So if you enjoy a fragrance with some kick, maybe it starts off a little fruity floral and then you've got that leather coming in here. This is definitely a fragrance for you to check out. It is very classy. It is very sophisticated. Like I said, it's got a little bit of an old school vibe to it with a modern twist. It's great year round and super long lasting. Again, this was La Pantiere by Cartier. This is Coco Mademoiselle Intense Eau de Parfum by Chanel. This is a great amber woody fragrance. I like this one a lot better than the original Coco Mademoiselle. It's much longer lasting and this is like the older sister. It's a little more sophisticated, a little deeper, a little darker. It opens with a little bit of orange that mixes with some lemon and then you're getting into some rose, a little more fruit and the patchouli really stands out in this one. It's a dirty earthy patchouli that mixes with a creamy rich vanilla and a musk. I recommend this one for the fall, winter, early spring. Super long lasting, super sexy. Again, this is the Coco Mademoiselle Intense by Chanel. This is Sea Intense Eau de Parfum by Giorgio Armani. This is the 2021 version and I love this one. This is an amber floral, opens with a thick, syrupy, dark black currant. 
And then you're also getting a Turkish rose, which reminds me a little bit of Turkish delight, that dessert. You've got some benzo in, a little bit of patchouli. Now I recommend this one for year round, super long lasting, very feminine, very fun, very flirty. So if you like more of a flirty, fun type of fragrance with some sophistication in there as well, then I definitely recommend Sea Intense by Giorgio Armani. Last but not least is L'Interdit of the Parfum Rouge by Givenchy. This is an amber floral fragrance with a little bit of spiciness to it in the opening, which I love. It has a nice ginger accord that mixes with some blood orange. You're getting some hints of tuberose as well as a pimento leaf, and it mixes with sandalwood, patchouli, and vetiver. This reminds me a little bit of a spicy root beer. I recommend this one more for the fall and winter time. It's very long lasting really nice and again this is the L'Intradi or the Parfum Rouge by Givenchy. There you have the 10 fragrances from my collection that I find to be absolutely exquisite long lasting fragrances that I thought you guys would enjoy. Again I'm going to put the links to these fragrances in the description box but I would love to know from you guys again what fragrances do you have that are long lasting that you think are absolutely exquisite. Share that with me in the comment section. I love to read your comments. I really do appreciate you guys taking time to watch this video. If you're new here and you ended up liking it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and then you'll know every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I'll see you again real soon.